My Family is Changing, a drawing and activity book for kids of divorce. Written by Tracy McConaughey. Abby, Jose, Sarah, Juan, Taylor, Annabelle, Nate. My name is Sarah. My parents just told me that they're going to get divorced and that soon our family will have two homes instead of one. I used to hear my parents argue and sometimes that made me confused and scared. Now I'm feeling very sad and also worried. I don't know what it will be like when my parents are divorced. There are so many feelings inside of me. My teacher says it's important to pay attention to my feelings, even the hard ones. When I pay attention to how I'm feeling and take care of myself, I start to feel better. I can take care of myself by sitting quietly and breathing, getting a hug from someone who loves me or snuggling my teddy bear. I also like to talk with my grandma, listen to my favorite music, and draw pictures of how I feel. What makes you feel comforted and calm? My name is Nate. I'm in the second grade and I have a little sister. Now that my parents are getting divorced, we won't be able to see both of them every day. I think I'm going to miss them a lot when I'm not with them. I like it when my dad tucks me in at night, but now sometimes he won't be with me at bedtime. My parents explained to me that when I miss them, I can talk with them on the phone, draw them a picture, or tell my other parent how I'm feeling. I can also use the things from my comfort wheel. My mom and dad said it's important to remember that both of them love me and will take care of me. I can feel their love even when we're not together. My name is Annabelle and I'm seven years old. My moms got divorced a few months ago. I wish they were still married. I miss all three of us being together and playing games or making cookies. When mom is dropping me off at my house with mama, I try to see if they're happy to be with each other. Sometimes I ask them if they can please get back together and try to be married again. My moms explained to me that they're, they aren't going to marry each other again but they're still going to be a team to help take care of me and make sure I'm loved. They talk to each other about how I'm doing and what I need. I still have a family. It's just different than what it used to be. Hi, my name is Jose and I'm eight years old. I love soccer and my dog Patch. When my parents told me they were getting a divorce, I was sad, but mostly I was worried about who would pick me up from soccer and who would take care of Patch. I knew I was going to miss Patch so much if I couldn't see him every day. I told my parents how worried I was and they helped me make a calendar so that I would know what days I was going to see Patch. They also told me that they already made a plan and knew who was going to pick me up each day after soccer practice. Now there's a schedule at my mom's house and one at my dad's house too. So if I'm confused about my schedule, I can always look at the calendar where I am and know the plan. Hello, I'm Taylor. My parents are divorced and now I have two homes. My home with my dad is the house my parents used to live in together. My home with my mom is her new apartment. At first, it felt funny in our new apartment. I missed some of my old toys from my house and there were thing different sounds at night. I woke up a lot at night in my new room until I got used to everything. I'm getting used to having two homes now. My parents made sure I have my favorite clothes, toys, and games at both places. Now I can have fun and my special things are with me wherever I am. I still take my most special stuffed elephant with me when I change houses so I can sleep with him every night. I have a cozy bed to sleep in at both homes. My name is Juan. My parents... This summer, my parents got divorced, and now I'm starting second grade. I have a lot of questions. I wonder if anyone else in my class has divorced parents. I wonder what my parents will think about my family now that it's changed. Can I invite my friends over to both of my houses? Should I tell my friends that my parents got divorced? Guess what? I made a new friend in my class. His name is Jose. Jose's parents are divorced, too. 
I found out because he told me he had one house with his mom and one with his dad. I asked if his parents were divorced, divorced and he said yes. I told him mine are too. Jose said he was worried at first, but now he's happy because he spends time with each of his parents. Hi, my name is Sarah again. It's almost my birthday. I'll be seven and I'm really excited, but I'm also sad I won't be able to have a cake on my birthday with both of my parents together. Now that they're divorced, they're each going to have their own time with me to celebrate my birthday. They're also both coming to my party with my friends. I wonder what that will be like. My birthday was a lot different this year and it was still really fun. My mom took me out to eat at one of my favorite restaurants on my birthday. Later that week, I had a delicious birthday cake with my dad and they each gave me an awesome present. They both came to my party with my friends and watched me open my presents and play games. They even both met my friend Annabelle. She moved into my mom's neighborhood with her mom after her parents got divorced. Hi, I'm Avi and I'm seven years old. My dad's got divorced when I was only in preschool. I was so sad and confused, but I also didn't like hearing them argue. Now we're all feeling much happier. Sometimes my parents still disagree, but they work it out. I spend some weekends with my dad and some with my pop, and we can be peaceful and happy together. My grandma even moved in with my dad. Sometimes I feel sad about our family. Then I talk to my parents and my grandparents or my counselor. Sometimes they can make a change in the schedule if I want extra time with one of my dads. If they can't, they still understand how I feel and have other ways to help. They remind me I'll see my other dad soon and give me a hug and help me make a card for him. This usually helps me feel better. Hi there, it's Nate again. Even though I'm used to my parents being divorced, I still miss mom when I'm with dad or miss dad when I'm with mom. But I know I can talk to them every night and I can look at my calendar to know when I'll see them next. We have a schedule for everything, like who picks me up from school, who takes me to piano lessons. I know what to expect. When some things change, I figure it out with my parents' help. I've learned a lot about myself. It turns out I'm powerful and strong. I know how to pay attention to my feelings. I also talk about what I need and I have ways to feel comforted and calm. When there's a problem, I can ask for help if I need it and I can solve the problem. I'm also glad I have my parents to help me and I've learned how to help myself.